90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 Days cast member Usman Sohoboy humor wasn't always the international music superstar he claims to be before he met ex-wife Lisa Baby Girl Ham. 90 Day Fiancé viewers met Usman when hospice caregiver Lisa flew to his country in season 4. However, Usman will soon be shown filming his music video for a song called Zara based on an ex-girlfriend, while he explores a new relationship with Kimberly, who's also an older, American woman like Lisa. Silhaboy seems to have become a much bigger name since his first reality TV appearance, with a bigger net worth and many more fangirls for Kimberly to fear, all thanks to TLC. Usman has openly admitted he used the 90 Day Fiancé franchise for fame, but pointed out TLC used him right back. Reportedly, Usman and Lisa's marriage ended as she accused him of pulling a romance scam. Lisa claims Usman married her to come to the States and was so desperate to be successful in music that he lied to her, her family, and her friends. Usman returning for a new 90 Day Fiancé season with a similar storyline and a different older American girlfriend cemented Lisa's accusations against her ex. Now, Usman maintains TLC and 90 Day Fiancé production company Sharp Entertainment are the biggest things in his life. Usman also maintains he's genuinely in love with Kimberly this time around. WHO was Usman before the 90 Days. When Lisa introduced her future husband Usman to 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 Days viewers in the season 4 premiere episode, she recalled him telling her he was an entertainer, rapper, and celebrity in his home state, and that he goes by the name Sohaboy. A screenshot of Usman's Instagram page flashed on the screen which revealed him having 23k followers and a bio that said, a musician and movie actor. The United Nations Peace Ambassador. Face of Sokoto Award winner. Per Distractify, in January 2020, Usman performed at the Kaduna Festival at Kaduna State University. He was also recognized at the International Goodwill Ambassador Awards in 2019 for his career accomplishments. The Baby Girl Effect out while Usman had not released any full-length albums at that point, he had two singles available on iTunes, Woman and I Love You, which he wrote for Lisa on Valentine's Day 2019. Interestingly, Lisa protested Usman having a Nigerian model in the music video for I Love You, so he had to edit it and remove her from the clip. However, after his spat with Lisa became public, Usman deliberately added the model back to the video and removed his dedication at the end for Lisa. In August 2020, fellow reality TV star Dr. Wendy Asefo from The Real Housewives of Potomac claimed that nobody in her home country knows who 90 Day Fiancé star Usman is. Appearing on The Dominic Nadi Show, Wendy said, he's doing what we in Nigeria like to call 419. That means he's faking dot dot life after Lisa dot the same Usman has now introduced himself as international superstar and King Africa, while talking about his relationship with Kimberly on 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 Day Season 5. I am a singer, been working for the past 10 years, non-stop and I can proudly say that my career is moving so higher, Usman added. I'm not at the top yet but I'm working so hard to get there. Usman wants to be a bigger celebrity in the States like Michael Jackson and Jay-Z and have concerts all over the world. Now, Usman claims Lisa's controlling nature affected his career. He has his own company called USB Entertainment, a manager named Badmus, and an assistant called Slam T who takes care of his business. His first episode Boy called King Africa released on January 15, and his latest music release is a song called Keys, Remix, Feed Ice Prince from September 3 which also appears to have a music video.
As of now, Usman's Instagram page has over 214k followers, which shows how much his popularity has escalated. One can assume that by the time 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 Day Season 5 ends, Soho Boy will have achieved more fame and success in the U.S. If not for his music, at least for his debatable relationship with Kim.